Now, just very quickly, I just want to discuss the slideshow feature within Aperture 3. I'm just going to select a few photos. So I'm going to choose, let's, let me just delete this duplicate project that I have. I'm just going to select my photos and I'm going to say new slideshow. And now that I have some GPS information and metadata information in my photos, I can create a really cool slideshow for let's say places where it interactively will show me on a map the different places I've been and then it'll display the photos from the different places. And it's really just a great feature that we have available to us that we can use to display some of our work, you know, like a showcase video. Or when we just invite friends or family over and we want to show them the last holiday we went on or the last photo shoot we went on. It's just a really great tool that we have and I think it can come in really handy and be very special for memories. So I'm going to create, let's say, vintage prints and I'm going to title the slideshow Apple Champ and I'll choose theme. And now within the slideshow we have some settings for the different slides. We can choose default settings for the whole slideshow. So we can choose the aspect ratio. We have a variety of aspect ratios. We can choose to repeat the slideshow, loop the main audio track, show the title. I can even double click in the, the, the main window and adjust the title if I wanted to. I can also play each slide for a minimum of however many seconds. So I'll just make it well, five seconds seems to be the minimum. And then you can select individual slides and apply different effects to them. So that's quite, quite nice. You have a lot of freedom in how you want to edit your slideshow. And again, you can now choose individual times, minimum of 6.5 seconds for some of them others minimum of five and uh, you can then just choose individual times for each slides so for some photos that you know are your favorites you can keep them on longer etc and then you can add some music you can browse your iTunes music library let's play Okay, so I'll use that song and I will choose to loop the main audio track and then what you can do is you can export your slideshow and it automatically creates a aperture slideshows folder and you can choose presets for what you want to export for where is it going to be played you can export full high definition or just 720p that like if you're going to be playing on the Apple TV 720p is its maximum resolution so you can do it on that but you can also choose a standard Apple TV and iPad preset so it does it all for you I'll take off automatically send slideshow to iTunes and show alert when finished so I'll say export So there we see that the slideshow has been completed. So I'm just going to click reveal in Finder and it automatically will open it up to me. And I'll just use Spotlight to, or Preview to play back the video. And there's no audio, so I just want to see, perhaps I didn't select it properly. So what it says is you have to drag files to the film strip to add music. So I'm just going to drag that in and there we go. That's better. So now we have music for the slideshow. So I'm just going to export that again. Okay, so it's done. Let's reveal and find it. 
play that back. So there you see just a great handy little feature, relatively no work at all, but really creates something that's professional, enjoyable to watch, and is a great ad addition to a portfolio piece, or just you know for personal home memories. Before we dive in and start discussing all the editing features we have available within Aperture, I just quickly like to show you how to connect Aperture to an alternative editing package. So a lot of photographers sometimes, you know, they like to use Photoshop or another similar package to edit their photos that gives them a little bit more freedom rather than just using a traditional photo editing package like Aperture. And to do that, you can just go to your Aperture preferences and under export the first option you have available is external photo editor and you can simply click choose and browse to your applications folder and select the application that you would like to use so in my case I'm going to use Pixelmator so now what this does for me is if I right click on my photo it brings up the first option I have available is edit with Pixelmator and if I click on that then Aperture will prepare an, a duplicate raw image for me to edit within Pixelmator. So if I just quickly make some random changes, I'll just do this paint, and then I save. Then I'm going to just quit Pixelmator. And as you see, automatically Aperture updates with the changes that I made. Now if I go to my browser, you'll see that Aperture makes a duplicate version so you'll see the title of the original was Apple Champ 003 then it made a duplicate with the same title so it's never gonna you know make a edit to your master file that you cannot undo it makes a duplicate that you can start working with so I cannot undo the changes that I've made in Pixelmator on this image but if I want to go back before the changes I made, I simply go to the original image. So I'm just going to delete this quick. And I'll go back to this image. So that's just a nice little additional tool we have available if you would like to link Aperture to an additional package. <laughs> 